Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Yeah, I'm going to really get more accurate on these. <laughs> anyway, women identifying with Nola Darling. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't going to plan on doing too much on um, the whole she's got to have it thing. Um, you know, at best, I think I was going to do another one on just uh, Jamie Overstreet. And um, that might be coming this week because that was an interesting character. But other than that... This has really not that much to do with actually reviewing the show, but just the reaction to it. Because I was noticing on different social media feeds, like my private feeds and stuff, um, people, a lot of women, were identifying with Nola Darling. You know, talking about I'm Nola Darling or Nola Darling is me or Nola is me, stuff like that. And these... um, you know, I, I think I'm about to be unfriended for any any uh, women I'm friends with on social media who did that. But I just got called shit for what it is. That, that's um, these women are whack. <laughs> Seriously, and I'm gonna tell you why I say that too, right? Because you know, one of the things I think women are getting into that whole sexual freedom thing. I mean, let's be real. She's got to have it. I generally liked it because, one, I don't let myself get emotionally upset at anything like that. I don't take it personally. I didn't see myself in the film and or, you know, in the series. And, I, you know, I can appreciate the art of it. And I take it for what it is. Feminist porn. <laughs> Seriously, I just take it for what it is. And, you know, I keep going. Right. I was just like, yeah, wait, wait till Ron Rice is Mr. Good Bar piece. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Y'all going to see some stuff then. But um, now but think about it. if you think about the character. I mean, shoot, it was perfect. She she just got to go along, do her stuff. No real consequences. You know, get a landlord who's, you know, even though she come late, is going to let her slide for some things. I'm like, she. <laughs> Man, you two minutes late with like rent in most places. They ready to put your stuff out. They got a, like some tack to your door already or something. Got the sheriff's department outside waiting. <laughs> and I've actually seen that happen. <laughs> You'd be a minute late. So <laughs> I was sorry. I had to laugh about that part. But if you look at it, she get to do her thing. And then she get like three or like two and a half select dudes. And I'm saying two and a half. You know, even though some women going crazy over the Mars character, I think they're going crazy over who's playing that character. But in real life, that dude be just some regular street dude. They be calling him thirsty or something. But, you know, you got the pretty boy and then you got the guy with money going for it. And, you know, all three of these guys, you know, and then they're going to be at a Thanksgiving with it. They're going to be generally peaceful, have a line dance number and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's come on, y'all. But. And these women, they embracing that. And the thing is, a lot of those women have lived that type of lifestyle, right? But, it, look, let's be real. It ain't going to be like that for them. Yeah, trust me, it, ain't, it just ain't going to be like that. First of all, first of all, okay, like say you got some woman out there, right? She got three guys she mess with at the same time, which is actually normal, Right? Very normal. A lot of y'all sharing a woman. I'm, I hate to have to be the one to tell you. But, you know, first of all, somebody like a Jamie type, a dude with some uh, brothers with some money like that, he wouldn't be taking it that seriously anyway. He'd go over there and bust nut and whatever. And then he'll probably try to entice us and say, look, I got your rent paid and everything, but you got to go with those other dudes. All right, because dude wouldn't be trying to, even if he having trouble at home, he wouldn't be trying to lose any money or something being caught up with her. And plus, you know, he might not be considered fine because then, you know what, somebody like that might get another woman who's going to be, you know, not amenable to sharing herself. Right. And then in real life, somebody like Greer, he might hit it every now and then. But somebody getting that many women. And let's be real. If we going by how the character was portrayed, he has some men in up in there, too. That dude wouldn't be pressed about her like that. And then somebody like Mars, please. He might be a little pressed about her or something like that, but he he just hit him and probably get some youngin somewhere or something like that, right? 
And the way they portrayed him in the thing, apparently, apparently professional women love his ass anyway, so he'd be moving around a bit. You know? But the thing is, that's just in terms of that character. Like I said, you get these women who identify with him, and I've seen women like that uh, most of my life. They don't win in the end. <laughs> they don't win in the end. First of all, I'm going to tell you what, with a woman like that, they'll be jumping around, but then there's always that one dude ain't going to be playing that shit. They're going to be like, you know, like there was a scene in um, She's Got Habit where, you know, she answering, she in bed with Jamie, she answering her call and stuff. Shoot. A thorough dude, even if he messing with her, he'd be like, hold up, I'm here with you, baby. And if she tripping and shit, he'll just walk out. Because I've seen women like that. Women like that, there's always that one dude. There's always that one dude going to look at him like, I ain't playing that shit. Always, always, always. You, in fact, if y'all know women like that, and any women like that listening, y'all know I'm telling the truth. If you're a dude and you know, ask her, just be straight up. Say, hey, there's that one dude who ain't feeling you. It'd be that woman getting everybody, got a whole uh, orbiters and everything, but then there'll be that one dude ain't playing that shit. He ain't tripping with her. And then, you know. There's another factor with all of that because, you know, the show is 27 having her fun and shit. But what is pitiful is when a woman like that find out some dude ain't trying to wife her up or be more serious. Because what happens is, I don't care who the woman is, as they get older, oh, they, they might want to play around, but then the rest of life intrudes. <laughs> they like, hold up, yeah, I'm getting all this dick, but I'm having trouble keeping my rent paid or I'm having trouble with jobs. Other shit happens. And then a lot of these women get pregnant. And then uh, a big thing that happens with some of these women, shoot, just venereal disease and all of that stuff, STDs, um, cervical cancer. You know, somebody gets cervical cancer, the first place they look is for that HPV virus. And you're only getting that HPV virus only one way. You know, and that's that's most cases of cervical cancer. So don't nobody hit me up saying, well, somebody got it and they did some other shit. In most cases, cervical cancer comes about through sex partners. That's why women get pap spears. Yeah, you get a lot of other, other stuff, even though she was, you know, she in the series, the Nola Darling character was talking about, you know, she practiced safe sex. You don't mess with that many dudes because it was established that she was just like that. Condoms, too. And then some do, you get caught in a moment, shoot. She might be like, hey, take that shit off. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. But then, like I said, in the, for the real life women, then you get real life consequences and stuff. Because one, you know, I was thinking about, because you, you know I got some stories. <laughs> You know, you get the older women still trying to be that way. Like one time, and this is the one time I actually bought a woman a drink. I was at this car, uh, club, right? You know, chilling, doing rom, doing rom, right? And this old woman was coming on to me trying to get me to buy a drink. And I ain't going to lie. I ain't like I simped out or anything because I wasn't interested in getting with her, but she was entertaining the fuck out of me. I said, shit, this this better than going to a movie because I was just sitting there. I just want to keep her going like, damn, this this woman is really trying hard doing that. I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Had some fucked up looking makeup on. Y'all know how somebody can look so fucked up they fascinating? But you get those women like that. They try to live that lifestyle when they're young. And then they realize no man is taking them seriously when they want something more serious. Because there was another club I was at, right? And I walked in. This is the first time I've been to this club. This old older woman just leached on to me. And then there was some guys. Like, they must have been regulars at the club. They were looking at me like, yeah, dude, she got you. I was like, damn, motherfucker, ain't none of y'all. Damn, that's how y'all going to do it, brother? <laughs> And y'all see him at the clubs. In fact, one of my most interesting stories, man, it was at, I mentioned this club before, and um, it was in the D.C. area uh, near the White House at the time, Zanzibar. Mostly like African men and Caribbean, uh, you know, dudes being there, you know, Caribbean folk, African folk, all of that. But you had this old, ugly ass white woman would be up in there, sitting around the front, too. And you know, you know, some thirsty, thirsty African brothers were trying to holler at her old ass and shit. 
But she was she was disgusting though, man. She looked at me one time. I almost threw up my buffalo wings. I was like, ugh, shit. And she was so fucked up looking that this brother I knew who would hit anything. I mean, this particular brother, he was bragging about having like messing with this three hundred fifty pound woman and shit. Say he be in the car and stuff. The shocks be like leaning over on that side. One of those type, right? That dude looked at that woman, that white woman, and said, ugh. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> But it was that old woman And everybody know about that That old woman Because that shit might be a little cute And you know interesting And you know some guys gonna get it When they in their 20s Yeah if women wanna talk about I'm Nola Darling That shit cute when you're in your 20s Even entertaining You know and a lot of guys know they probably had at least one. If you had a normal sex life, you had at least one Nola darling who just wants, even though she ain't like the term, some freak shit. I tell her, I don't give a fuck she get mad. I tell her to her face. So, you know, any any type like that, you want some freak shit. I ain't saying that's bad. It's just, we just got to call it what it is. All right? But, yeah, that shit, all right, you know, well, at least tolerable when you're young, but... You get some of these women, they in their 50s and 60s, they still on the same ass shit. That's what's pitiful to me, and then don't got nothing to show for their lives. Like, these women talking about they empowered. How is it empowered getting dick? And you ain't getting paid for it. That's the, that's the thing. I'm like, uh, all right, but a lot of these women talking about I'm Nola and stuff. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'll probably be unfriended by some people that see this uh, podcast or listen to this podcast. I'm like, wait a minute, but you, you struggling to make ends meet. You got all this shit going on. You raising kids by yourself. Shit, half the time, if you ain't talking about you know, you complaining about some shit happening to you. You're trying to be cool about it sometimes, but sometimes you're like, damn, why is all this shit happening to me? I was like, well, damn, how you empowered? Because my thing is this. Just getting some dick or, you know, living that lifestyle, hey, that's what you want to do. But then if the rest of your life fucked up, how's that helping you? You know? And I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, I don't see the empowerment in it. And you think you're cool and some women think, oh, well, men do it. Well, see, here's the thing, though. Women got to deal with the consequences of uh, being promiscuous more so than men. Because energy going inside the woman. You know? Shoot, energy is going inside the woman. And see, a woman, you know, I've talked about that imprint, but one thing I don't say as much, that imprint is added to every single time. And a lot of spiritual type folks know this. Every single time a woman has sex with a different man, that man's energy in there. And she with some fuck. Because you ain't going to mess with like a bold bunch of men without coming across some fucked up dudes ain't nobody it, in, in real life no a, a nola darling type don't get outstanding dudes <laughs> you know shoot they 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 first of all if you get some dude cheating he ain't he ain't thinking about your well-being you get some dude who just fuck everything that dude you just another you just another number to him shoot that that's how it is in real life Cause I think women see this and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna get all these things. Nah, yeah, I, I challenge, I challenge somebody to tell me that. I mean, some women will try to act like, oh yeah, I'm getting all these fine. But if you look at them, you be like, damn, be that bum motherfucker in the neighborhood or something, right? So I'm like, damn, that's kind of jacked up. I don't know if y'all want to do that. You know, I don't see how the character is empowered and shit. Empowered to do what? Cause real life, you don't you don't get like grants from uh, foundations and stuff, or all of that. You just get a lot of misery, and then they be that old woman in the club that's just there to entertain Ron. So, I had to just say I had to hit y'all with that. Yeah, I know I'm about to lose some friends, but whatever. I'm just gonna call it what it is. All right, just be happy. I don't call your names. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.